This is going to be a recipe video making some uh, lemon cheesecake, keto style. Uh, both of my kids, or two of my three kids, the, the youngest is a little too small to be in these. But Sawyer and Sayer are both in it. Um, I've had a hard time finding good lemon products on keto. I like to get the, the full flavor of the lemon and a little bit of the sour. Usually it's too sweet, there's not enough lemon, there's all kinds of issues. Um, actually these, which just happened to be sitting here, that's probably the closest I had from the keto box or keto crate last month. And uh, I decided, you know, I'll just make me a cheesecake and make it the way I want it. I've tried some lemon custard keto recipes and I didn't care for any of them, so I made my own lemon custard the way I wanted it. Um, and what I'm gonna do um, this is, total carbs are kind of high on this cheesecake. Um, I'll go over the nutrition at the end, but just know that almost 85% of the carbs are allulose. So you can, you, you can switch allulose to erythritol, you can lower the allulose and add some stevia. You can just lower the allulose and make it not quite as sweet if you want. Um, so it's pretty easy to lower the carbs quite a bit in this. Um, plus, one slice, is, one slice is one eighth of it, it's pretty big. But what I'm gonna do, gonna check my blood. I'm gonna check it now, I'm gonna eat half a piece, check it in 30 minutes, check it in an hour, and I'll put that at the end of the video as well. Um, just to see if it does anything to me, which I would be really surprised if it did. I will show you the results either way. Um, but I've tested with pretty much every ingredient in this, so it, it would surprise me if it did anything. There's the before. 98, that's kind of high for the morning. There, I can see it. So it's 98 right now. Um, and we'll test it after we eat this. I've got a piece right here. All right, Sadie, what are we making? We're making some lemon cheesecake. Lemon cheesecake? Mm -hmm. Does that sound yummy? She is ready to go. Eggs. Lemon eggs? Yep. Yeah, we're making we're making lemon cheesecake. Lemon um, so first, let's start with the crust, right? Yeah. Where's crust? Hey, where's the crust? The crust is gonna have two ingredients. I'll show you. First, we have some of this Lolly's lemon. Butter. I have four ounces, so it's half a package. Butter. And I have butter. Butter. <laughs> what is it? Butter. Butter. And two <laughs> tablespoons of butter. We're gonna melt yep. this. Okay, we got our mixer here. We're gonna put the lollies and the butter into this mixer. Yeah. Can I put this in. Yep. Pour it all in here. We pour all butter. Right. You got it in now, don't you? She messed with a lot of it, we had to fix it. Uh, it's hot. Are you gonna pour the butter in? Yeah. Daddy, we'll pour the butter. Right here. <laughs> okay, we're off to a good start. We spilled the ground a little bit and we spilled the butter. But I've got more butter and I'm gonna pour the butter in. Daddy, well, I, I promise to spill it. You promise to spill it? Mm-mm. You promise not to spill it? Mm-mm. Here, you wanna help me? Mm -hmm. Right here, you help me. Pour it in. Told you it's hot. Mm. Our two ingredient crust. Okay, now that we got it in here, we're going to pulse this. And now, we're gonna get it into a pop in. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. What? Woohoo! Now we're going to spread this on the bottom and flatten it. And there's what we're looking for for our crust. Um, you can add more if you want to go up the sides. Um, I'm just putting it on the bottom with a little bit on the sides. Push it down nice and flat with your hand. Okay. Now what are we going to make? The cheesecake filling? Yeah! Yeah, let's make the filling. Yeah, we need the filling. Okay, now we're gonna get some mixture of cream cheese. That's two blocks of cream cheese. This is half a cup of allulose, and we're gonna put a couple droppers of stevie in. So you wanna put it in here? Put yeah. this, put this in here. Did you get it? 
at the bottom. There it went. So All right, that's in there. Now put the allulose in. Like this. this. Now try not to spill it. Put it all in. Yep. Now squirt that in. Put it over here and squirt it. Wait. All right, let's get another dropper. Okay. Let's okay. work that in. Okay. Don't. Just push it. There you go. Good job. All right, now let me have it. Now we're going to put this on the stand and get it mixed up really good. Right? We'll put eggs in there. You want to put eggs in there? Yeah. Okay, we will in just a minute. Okay. Okay, we've got it whipped up. I'm going to scrape the sides down, and then we're going to whip it just a little bit longer on the slower setting. Now that, they, now that this is nice and fluffy, we're going to add the rest of these awesome ingredients to make it better. Put in two eggs. Okay. You want to put two eggs? Good job. What's next? Like this. Oh, yeah. With a tablespoon of almond flour. Oh. Uh, well, let's get that, get that yogurt. We got half a cup of homemade yogurt. We're gonna have to use this to get oh, that no. out. We're gonna have to use this to get that out. Uh, Let me get it. Uh, Let me get it. Our cream in now. She's gonna put some vanilla extract. I don't measure vanilla extract, so. Right. Now, Daddy, Daddy, now we got about two tablespoons of lemon juice, fresh squeezed from the lemons. Daddy, don't now, now we got lemon zest, which is one of the most important parts of whoa, a lemon cheesecake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're getting it all over your hands, huh? Let me see your hands. <laughs> um, that was zest from about three lemons is what, I, what we put in there. Now we're going to mix this up. Is that good? Um, yep. Huh? Yep. You like it? It does. Daddy, look, it's so done. Yep, the oven's preheated. You can go ahead and put your oven to 350. Or we're going to be cooking it. <laughs> Daddy, want to make the cheesecake? Want to make the cheesecake? Of course. Okay, there's our cheesecake batter. I'm gonna taste a little bit of it and make sure that it tastes the way it's supposed to taste. You wanna taste some of it? Go ahead. Mmm! Alright, I'm gonna try mine now. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Hey, eat it. <laughs> that's lemony. Now we're gonna take this and put it in here. Can we get that? You think it'll be easy to get that in there? You think it'll be easy? Mm -hmm. I'm asking you. Hey, I'm asking you. Okay. Think it'll be easy? Yeah. Is it heavy? Yeah. Let <laughs> me scrape it. Oh no! Don't drop it in it. No! <laughs> Are you fighting it? Is it flat? Bye bye, yummy. It's yummy. Hi, yummy. Okay. Mom, stay. So it's like yummy. So you said yummy? Yeah. I'm stuck. You got it good and flat? Actually, making the cheesecake smooth is really important. So we definitely want it to be really come smooth come on top here. to help prevent cracking. Okay, now I'm going to put this cheesecake in the oven. Mm -hmm. um, it's on 350. I'll tell you how long it takes when it's done. Um, I'll probably put it in for about 22 minutes and then I'll check it every couple minutes after that until it's until it's perfect.
So here's what it looks like going into the oven. I got a sheet under it to make it easier to carry. Okay, so I just took the, uh, the cheesecake out of the oven. Um, I put it in for 22 minutes and then four minutes a couple times and then three minutes. I was looking, this is what I want it to look like. Um, it took about 35, 37 minutes, somewhere in there. I got the outside is a little bit brown. Um, the outside touch is really firm. And when you jiggle it, the middle just barely moves. It's pretty much done. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. So it's completed. You can see around the edge, it's just a little brown. If you push on it, it's done. In the middle, if you push on it, it leaves little tiny bubbles. And if you shake it, it jiggles just a little bit in the middle. That's what we're looking for. Just another note, feel free to cook this another way that you cook your cheesecakes. A lot of people use water baths and stuff. It'll keep you from overcooking and help it with less cracks, all that. I've made a lot of cheesecakes in this long time. I, I know what it's supposed to look like when it's done. And you can see there are a couple of cracks around the outside edge. Um, as it cools, those are going to go away. So I'm not worried about that. Um, so I'm going to let it come to room temperature right here on the counter. And then we'll put it in the fridge overnight. Does it look good? <laughs> What'd you say? What does it look like? Well, lemon cheesecake. Like lemon cheesecake? Yeah. Are you happy? Are you excited to try it tomorrow? <laughs> okay, so at this point, it's the next day. Um, our cheesecake is ready to eat if you want. Feel free to stop there. Um, what I'm going to do now is make a lemon custard to put on top of it and then some Cool Whip for it. Uh, so now, let's start with the lemon custard. Um, I am going to use a double boiler. I got this to put on another pot. And I've got a thermometer. Is that what that's called? Whatever. I gotta check the temperature. It's a candy thermometer, I believe. Um, so I'll get this stuff assembled and get it started cooking for our custard. Okay, so into our bowl, we have about three ounces of lemon juice. That was uh, two lemons. We're going to put the zest from two lemons also. And then we're going to put two thirds cups of allulose. And I'm gonna put two squirts of this stevia in, which will take me just a minute. Squirts of that in. Then we have six egg yolks. Yolks only, please. Let's just scrape some of that out. And five tablespoons of butter. Which I'm fine with not melting this butter, it just makes it take longer to uh, to get the temperature. We're gonna put this over a double boiler until it reaches 160 degrees. There it is at 160. So I've got it off the stove. Nice and thick. Uh, we're gonna have to put this in the fridge and let it cool. Okay, now I'm on to the last step. Well, the last thing I gotta make for my lemon cheesecake and then we'll put it all together. Uh, I'm gonna make a whipped cream for it. Um, so for that, I will need 3 fourths cups of heavy cream, three eighths cups of allulose or six tablespoons and a little bit of stevia and i'll put that together now so here first we're going to put our cream in our mixer make sure the cream is cold and we're simply going to turn this on and let it run okay, this is what we're looking for at first you know, if you open it, we get little soft peaks that just hang there. Once it gets to this point, we're going to add the allulose. And let's add a drop, dropper of this. Yeah. 
Now we're going to finish mixing this until it gets to stiff peaks. I almost forgot an ingredient. We need to put some vanilla in. So Sawyer's here to help me now. He's going to put the vanilla in for me. Wait, okay, what are you doing? Putting the vanilla in. Put the vanilla in? Yep, put it in. All right, now turn it on. Slowly? Yep, turn it on nice and slow. Okay. Which way? This way. Really? Just a little bit. Now turn it up a little bit more. 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 Is that fast enough? No. Are you going faster or go no. faster? Whoa! That's what we're looking for with whipped cream. It looks like whipped cream. Yeah. Doesn't it? You want to taste it? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Let's get a little bit. What do you think? You like that? Tastes like cream. That's what it is. It's vanilla cream. I should taste it too, huh? Yeah. Make sure we have whipped cream. That's good. I want more. That's really good. You want more? Yeah. It's yummy. I got it on my hand. <laughs> Don't you lick it off my hand. <laughs> Good. Okay, now it's time to put everything together. We have a cheesecake, we have lemon custard, and we have whipping cream. And Sawyer. Yeah, and Sawyer's here to help finish the video out because Sadie is asleep. Here's our ingredients. We're gonna first take the custard and put it on the cheesecake. Okay. Yeah, just put that on the cheesecake. Our cheesecake did crack a little bit overnight. So do I just pour it? Or? Yeah, you can try to pour it and use the spoon if you need to. I got it all? Yeah. Oh, there's a lot left in there. We'll get that on too. And then we'll spread it around. What do you not like the smell of? He does not like the lemon smell on the custard. Now, if you have a popping bag or something, you can take this, put it nice and neat around the edge. I'm not a decorative person. We're not going to do that. We're going to scoop it around the edge. Yeah. All right, so get a scoop. Do you know how to use a scooper? Uh, kind of. No, nope, that's not how you do it. Look, you gotta do it this way and pick up some, right? Uh -huh. And then you hold it over it and go and push the handle and it comes and it comes off like that. Then we're gonna get another scoop mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and put it right next to it. Kay. Like that. Can you do that? Yeah. Oh, we missed some. Don't fill that that full. Now what? Hang on, okay. When you overfill like that, we'll just do this and go whoosh. There you go. Now put it right there. Push it down. Push the handle a few times. Don't turn your, don't break your arm. <laughs> See if any way to break your arm is on, uh... How'd you break your arm? Making pie. Come here. Put it right here. Hold it. Now squeeze it. See, like that. Yeah. We're just gonna put balls around the edge. Think you can do it? Yeah. All right, let's try. Get this out of your way. Is that good? That's fine, just put it here. Four. We're not going for looks, put it right there. Right there next to the other one. So. Just keep. Push it and then push it again until it falls out. Push it all the way. There you go. Hmm. Put it right there.
you're making this with your kids and they're all in full concentration mode you can do stuff like that <laughs> he'll he'll lick it off later we did it let's film we'll fill in a couple of these gaps while you go lick your forehead this cake I'll cut into it and show you a slice and we'll try it all right, and here's what the final cheesecake slice looks like. Now we can talk about the nutrition. All right, now I'm gonna try a piece of this. Oh, that is so good. If you like sour lemon, it's amazing. You wanna try it, Jennifer? Yeah, I'm recording. I'm still recording. I get you're getting all this. I guess. Oh, come here. You can have this piece. That piece is mine. Wow. There you go. Hang on, actually. Is that not the lemoniest? It is, and it's not like overly sour. Like, I was worried when you said sour lemon, but it's really good. It reminds me of uh, lemon squares, but better, you know, because creamier and stuff. So, like, this, thumbs up. this is good. Okay, now we'll talk about nutrition on this cheesecake. Um, I've got it broke down three different ways. I got if you cut it into eight slices, 16 slices, and 12 slices. Um, so, in eight slices, we do have 530 calories, 49 fat, 11 protein. There are 37 total carbs for one eighth of this cheesecake. 30.8 of that is allulose, 1.7 is fiber, so that's five net carbs. Um, like I said at the beginning, feel free to lower the allulose levels on this any way you want. Um, but also put in here what the lemon curd and the whipped cream were separately. So if you wanna stop at just the crust and the cheesecake filling, um, you can look up there. One slice is 14.2 carbs. Um, 10 of that is allulose. Uh, there's very low fiber in this, but I also put down below, you know, if you're doing 16 slices or doing 12 slices, um, I have it listed what the nutrition is for those as well. So there you go. There's the nutrition of this. Um, hope you enjoy. Okay. Now let's start to see the results of the blood test and see what it did to my blood glucose levels at 30 minutes in an hour. Here they are. Okay. It has been 30 minutes. 94. So we went from 98 to 94 in 30 minutes. We'll try it again in 30 more minutes and see what happens. Okay, so now it's been an hour, so let's look at the results after one hour. Eighty nine, it's still going down. Can't get it to show up. There you go. 89. It's uh, still going down throughout the day. That went lower back to This is really more of the reading I'm used to in the mornings, um, not 98. I don't know what caused it to be 98 to begin with. 